Hey guys, Sam here. I just got the brand new update of Google Maps 4.0. The update was just released about an hour ago, so I have it downloaded here right now. So first things first, Google has added a brand new icon to represent the Google Maps application. So let's look at what's new in this update. The new update brings new material. Okay, let's just go right here. So the new update contains new material designs that bring bold graphics, fluid motion, and tactile surfaces. So I'm going to show you guys the fluid motion because the app is beautifully smooth uh, with the new update. You can also make restaurant reservations right from the app. This is available to U.S. residents only right now. So hopefully they'll bring you to Canada, Australia, UK, and a bunch of other countries in the next week, coming weeks, months, maybe a year. Uh, but Google is unpredictable, so can't say when this is going to come. But hopefully it will come, so keep the hope alive, guys. Uh, you can also see a wait, estimated wait times and a cost of taking the Uber uh, service if you guys use the Uber um, service to get around town. So if you have the app application installed on the iOS device that you're using, be it be iPhone 4, 4S, 5, 5C, 5, uh, 6, 6 Plus, whatever it is, uh, you can see the times right in the Google Maps application. So you don't need to open another application to see just that. It is optimized for iOS 8 um, because I did notice before it was not that optimized so it was having a lot of issues where I would open the application it would go the screen would go blank as in black for a couple seconds or sometimes just for a split second and then the maps application would open up so let's get the application opened up as you guys can see it's very smooth opens up right away it has some improvements uh, hold on let me just get out of from bike to traffic alright so as you can see right there we got the application loaded up. First things first, let's try to search up steak. And in the process, you can see how smooth the application is and how fast it is. So let's go to Chicago cheese steak. I think this one has, okay, sorry. This one does not have the open table integration. Let's try this one. Okay, as you can see, it says fine table right there. So you can select the party size. So it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people, all the way up till 20 people. You can select your time frame, the date that you want to make a reservation for, and then just select the table. So let's just go back down to two. And there you go. So there's two available for Monday, November, 2.30, 5.30 p.m. You can just select the time frame. Once you select it, it'll send you notification or email. I'm not sure what's going to happen next. I haven't tried it yet, this is for demonstration purposes only. So you can select the time frame and then make your reservation. We'll search for coffee and show you guys again. So as you guys can see, it's very smooth, very fast. You can select the coffee place. Uh, let's go for Starbucks. And there you go, you have a list full of Starbucks nearby, and then you could just select it. See the information available, such as, you know, open hours, address, and whatnot. So you can see all that information right here, ratings, reviews, you can write your own reviews and whatnot. But overall, the application is very, very smooth. The next thing they integrated is the settings, which are in the top left corner. You can select those, you could click those three lines, or what you can do is go ahead and slide your finger from the left and it'll bring up the settings now you have all the options for traffic transit biking satellite train Google Earth if you have the application open or sorry if you have the application installed on your iOS device it will take you to that application right away and locate you the your places tab is for um, your work and your home address and also you could put your other places by starring them so whenever you're searching for a place you like it you could click the star button and it will add it to your places for one tap directions to that location pretty much um, it's very convenient very smooth overall application and I do like it one thing I do miss or I hope that added in the near future is that the night mode that's one of the reasons why I like using Google uh, the Apple Maps application is because of the night mode because at nighttime when you're driving and you have the the iPhone and I got the iPhone 6 plus here so it's very big so when you have that in front of you and you're driving down at nighttime, you can see that the white light would be very disturbing, and it really is. Uh, with Apple Map, because it turns black during the night mode app, uh, usage, uh, it's much easier on the eyes and is much more comfortable when using it while driving. 
Um, so you can see a little bit better rather than having this white light shining into your eyes and making you kind of blind uh, depending on how high your brightness is on your device. So that's about it with this application update. Um, hopefully Google continues to bring new updates and features to the application soon. But you guys can uh, check out my website, samunlocks.net, if you need any cell phone unlocks. We do unlocks for all different various makes and models. So you guys can check that out. And also subscribe to my channel by clicking this beautiful big red button right here. And check out my other videos. I make a lot of other videos here that are helpful to you. At least I hope they are. Uh, they're covering iPhone, iPad, OS X, Yosemite. And I also did reviews for the iPad Air 2 and uh, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, both of them. So you guys can check that out as well. So thanks for watching my video. I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys enjoy the new Google update or Google Maps update. And uh, so we'll see you next time.